How's it going, buddy? Were you able to find your friend? I seen you talk to Eddie a minute ago when you went down to see if the guy, Johnny, with the you need yeah. the bike parts. Yeah. Yeah, I went and told him and he's supposed to be coming this way. Okay. All right, well then I'll just hang out. What's your name? I'm Robert. Robert? Daryl, nice to meet you, sir. All right. He, he's gonna be a little slow, you know, he's, his legs are hurting, but. All right. Johnny, how you doing, sir? Pretty good, how you doing? Good, my name's Daryl. Daryl? Daryl, with a Daryl. Daryl or Daryl? Daryl. Same as the other Daryl. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Here's one of my cards. You do. Yeah, I just I just help people out. Now I heard you got a issue with your bike. Yeah, my uh I've got a bad bad leg. I'm getting up there in age, and the older I get, the worse it hurts. Oh, I know that. And I miss walking, but bicycle's good for me. Time to uh, advance. You know, get into something a little more well, easy to roll down the street with. Yeah. Things are different uh, for some reason. Uh, you get up there in age, and people don't really know you. But I have talents, but I can't use them anymore right now. I need to go back to work. Can't make it on what I'm getting. I worked under the table a little much. Yeah. Yeah, and I need a vehicle. I've got an excellent driving record. Just cash is what my problem are, is. Are you a truck driver? Well, I used to be. Really? But not anymore. Do you still have your CDL? No. No? No. Okay. Uh, but I like playing music pretty good. Yeah? Make a little money at that. A friend of mine had a guitar that was around here. Marty, matter of fact. Yeah. Hold on a sec. All right. I'll tell you what. So do you need a... What is it? That he wasn't sure exactly what, your, what the problem was with your bike. Well, um, actually, I think all I need is a... Valve core remover and a valve core, possibly, and it might be back on the road. But I've also got a 29 inch. That's more like what I'm used to. This 26 inch is a little small for me. Yeah. Uh, but at least it gets me down the road. You want to bring the bike up here so you can work on it? Uh, no, my leg hurt, man, from riding it with a flat tire. Yeah. Uh, I was fixing to walk to the. Good year or whatever. The opportunity is right here, man. You got it right there, man. Let me go get it. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got a, uh, I've got a 26-inch tube. You won't have to worry about the valve core and the whole deal. Well, and I got a pump. But it would be where I would have to use the pump here because I use it, you know, throughout uh, the week. Well, I mean, I could go get the. Let me go get it for you. The bicycle. Well, it's all locked up. Okay. Uh, I can go. I can go get the front wheel. That's all I need to do. Then whatever I do, I would have to help you more. Yeah, if you want to grab the wheel, that would work out just fine. You got two and F up. Yeah. Okay. Twenty six. Twenty six. I'll be right. I back. got you, Johnny. Sorry about that, Johnny. What's Let's your name, young man? Cigarettes. What's your name? Rod. Who? R O D. Rod. What's yours? Okay, Daryl. Daryl. Let me give you a card, man. A card. Where, uh, hey, you on camera? Oh, for what? Um, no, it's uh, I work. What's that? I'm famous. Is it well, you're going to be. Or is it porn? Is, I said, is it recording? Oh. I do good porn, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. yeah, I'm recording, hey, but no. Hey, I thought that's what you said. It's like, Jeez. yeah, I got some smokes for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you meet this guy? I know what's going on. All right, Rod, here you go, buddy. Thank you. That's five pack. All right, appreciate it. And there's a and letter for you. Thank you. Yeah. I can have it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, make sure you, um, you know, it's on. I want you to get a good look at it. Oh, yeah. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Thank you. Well, do you have any profound statements you oh, would like to tell the world? Okay, look, see, I apologize. Look, I didn't even read the card before, so that was on me. Well, no, I gave it to you after. You asked me if you were on YouTube. I spoke a little too soon, so it's on. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. No, that's cool. I do this every day. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ask Eddie. Mm -hmm. It'll be a year in about 10 days. Yeah. Okay. You need a rain You need a rain poncho? Yes, sir. Here you are, young man. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. Here you go, Robert. Rod. Yeah. Ro Ro Rod. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, he's Robert. Oh, oh yeah. he's Robert, Rod, yeah. and you're yeah. Daryl. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. And that's my other brother Daryl down the street but somewhere. Oh see it all right down there. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm just waiting on these guys. I got an inner tube bike tire for them. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you need any uh, like hygiene stuff? Uh, not no, sir. No. I have a question. Uh, so what's the um? Uh, let me find the right word. What's the like? Eh. <laughs> Take your time. I know what I'm, I'm trying to ask. Like you, you do YouTube, right? Okay. So what's the meaning behind it? Like. To help yeah, people who are struggling. Right. Well, it was just a kind of a hobby that I started a year ago, mm -hmm. but now it's my full-time thing. Okay. Because I got I got hurt. Uh, I had some internal bleeding. I was in the hospital mm -hmm. back in February, and uh, I missed so many days of work that I lost my job. I worked in IT, uh, night shift. Oh, it sucked. But anyways, uh, now I'm just helping people as much as I can. Yeah. Every day? Well, almost every day. That's yeah. a good thing because uh, you, you push it. You push it out. Yeah, I got a bunch of well, people that help me well, out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yes, yes. yeah. Thank you. They send me, you know, some stuff to hand out. Like Eddie, see that Bible he's got? I just gave it to him. Yeah, I have. I, I need to go. I, need a Bible? I have one. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, if you don't need anything necessarily. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome, young man. All right, nice to meet you. Be safe. Likewise. All right. All right, say that again. Say, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's out there. Miss Tina, to the people that are like Tina and carry the spirit of God. The Bible is an encouragement for us out here in the homeless. But a little words of encouragement. Thank you for the Bible. It says, Proverbs, all glory to God. The most high. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. Ooh. So if you give a man something to thirst on, a cold drink, just as you would Christ, Christ says, whoever lends to the poor, God will be sure to pay it back. But he's not really alone. It's just an action. When we allow God to live in our lives, it becomes an action. And this is what we do. This is who we are. You know what I'm saying? Eddie, you have such great passion. Why are you out on the street? Why? I'm out on the streets. Come on, man. You you need to be speaking speaking the word. Everybody says that. Eddie's a good one, man. Yeah. He, he's out here where he needs to He's be. had that Bible five minutes and he broke out the chapter and verse for me. Oh, Eddie. Hold up. Eddie's awesome, man. Hold up. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's not about Eddie. It's about God. Look. Well, yeah, true. True that. Let's go back to this one right here. And then, and, 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 and he what is it? You want to know why, you wanna know why I'm out here? And, and this is an excuse that Eddie uses. I'm going to be honest with you. But right here, this is where I'm at right here. Really, man. In my mind. I serve this with somebody else. Psalms 55. Hey, you want to hear him bust out that dead gun rip song that he's Psalms 55. This might be a while. What that? That's a seat for you. Will that hold me? Sure it will. It holds 850 kilos. Psalms 55. Yeah. I'm going to read verse 12 through 14. And this is where Eddie's at today. For it is not an enemy who reapproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it the one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal, my companion, my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throne. So what that means is, my enemy is not the world system. My enemy is not people, because people is the one that really, that Christ in me, and Christ should be expressed through me by how I live. Not by what I say, because by what I say, it ain't no good. It's by how I live. You know what I'm saying? It's actions before words. Amen. It's, it's talking, it's like hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? I say one thing, but I do another thing. That's the same thing as hypocrisy. But what I'm trying to say is, the ones that really that I lean to, I, to I, 
I, for a moment, I said, well, I'm gonna trust these men because God put them in my life, you know? But really, I was trusting myself. You understand what I'm saying? Eddie, I don't trust you, myself. You don't, you don't need to be out here. Well, nobody does, but you you are a certain individual who needs... But no, we are all certain individuals. I, I understand that, but you are blessed, sir. Well, yeah. we're all blessed because what you say is you say it with conviction and truth and an honor and integrity and I seen the tears in your eyes last time we met and I know that you're real why don't you talk to different pastors amongst different churches and and maybe get some part-time work and stuff working with them and and you wanted to spread the word you wanted me to work with you and what can I do to help you spread the word Hey man, you are here in Los Gatos for reps all night, and he let me hear he keeps on getting done. And, and uh -huh. But see, that's me. That's me working in, in that in that in that mix. You know what I'm saying? Right. You it's all about glorifying God. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and what can you do for me? Really, prayer, 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 prayer. Well, that's been an ongoing thing. I've been praying for two weeks to find you. Since the last time I saw you, I stopped a guy on the road the other day and he almost kicked my ass because I called him you because he looked just like you and he was riding a bike. Dead serious. Right over on uh, Sh or Wa Wall Street. I'm dead serious. No, I stopped and waited. He was coming down the road. I said, Eddie, he's like, who the F are you? And I was like, hey, man, I got something for you. He's like, I don't know you. You a cop? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, I, I, I'm, I'm dead serious. He used some pretty foul language. I didn't. I got the video. I just didn't put it up. You know, nor you know. I don't really want to, but it was irrelevant. But I'm just saying. All right. Um, I, I, I got another one too. It just say it just comes off the dome from the head. It says, "This is what God said." Jesus Christ, spoken words, red letters. He says, "If a brother sees another brother in need and has no compassion on him." How can the love of God be in him? Another one, it says, for God is not looking for the, the sacrifices that go to the offering. He's looking for the merciful to show compassion All right. to the poor. We need to get you out of here. I'm just saying now. Yeah, no, I'm just saying we need to get you out of here. <laughs> That's all. We need to get all you guys out of here. What can, what can be done? You know, I'm gonna work with Johnny here. I'm gonna get him, help him get his bike fixed, and uh, I'm Thank just you amazed. Tina. You know, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's from Tina. That's a high dollar. You could tell it's quality. You know. You know what? It don't even it, it don't even really mean, mean anything about the dollar. What it means is that in her heart, she set out to do something. You know what? I love the Bible, man. I do, man. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that if, nice? If I if I had, if I had a surrounding, if I had somewhere where I, I could be and really dedicate myself to God, you know, we, we're talking uh, out of the range here, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking about, whoa, you know? But really, it's not. It's so simple, man, you know? Well, then what can we do to make that happen? You know what, man? You know what I mean? I mean, why can't we talk to different pastors? Why can't you do a guest lecture at a, a you know, you perhaps... Because, because it... it, it it all has to do with sanctification. It say, be holy for I am holy. Okay, how can you take my word if I'm out here living in this, in this, in the midst of all this that was going on? And, and this is just a glimpse. They're not knowing what the rain's gonna do right now to the tents, to our clothes, to us, to what, everything that we own is gonna become wet, drenched, and we're gonna be like, ugh. Come here, you know what it says. No lottery, please enforce Oh, I know. Yeah. It's on every pole, every 20 feet. You know, it's pretty sad. The, the best answer that I know of that, to give you for that question is really and truly, honestly, for some reason, it, it just don't always. And really, look, I want help, but see, I want help for everybody. Just I'm equal. You just don't really always Hold on, Eddie. Easy. Go ahead, Robert, I can't hear you. It just don't always work out that easy. And it's oh, I know. It's going to happen yeah. all the time. You may have the greatest plans, but they just never seem to work out. They don't. All right, I'll tell you what. Give me a few minutes here with Johnny. I got an inner tube for him for that, for that wheel. We're going to get him pumped up and get him back on the road so he can pursue his 
his ordeal and, and get on the road. <laughs> it's like, like a dream. You remember last time, Eddie over there by the dumpster, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with Tim. You told me about that, yeah. Yeah, with Tim. All right, let me get you. Let me get you set up. Oh, you can, you can hang out right there. That way you can work on it. See, now you're you're you're. It's, you can consider that chair like a little workbench. Uh, yeah. Uh, Check it out. That's got a, a that's got a sealant tube as well. Oh. I seen you putting the the tape around there to prevent the spokes from poking through. That, uh, but that's an additional reinforcement. Yeah, it's like that green slime, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just a stronger okay, tire or a stronger tube. Here, you know, yeah. but uh, uh, you get that set up. I'll get you the get you the pump. We'll get you pumped up. Check the air pressure, and we'll go from there, young man. You. You're welcome, Matty. You, Robert, nice to meet you, sir. You too. All right, man. You get that thing fixed, we might race there in a little bit. Well, you feel it. And you're going to race them? All right. All right, let me dig up that pump. Hey, Mr. Johnny, could I interest you in a water, sir? Uh, I got a cold water. Yeah, that would be great. All right. I got that Kool-Aid like stuff in hand, and it kind of gives me heartburn. Oh, yeah. that's not cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. So what's your story, sir? How'd you get out of here? Uh, I would imagine we're... A greed. Greed? Greed's a real thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, without airing anything, uh, both sides of my family are pretty comfortable. And I was a contractor, uh, raised kids, wife, still married, but... Uh, supposed to be divorced that size the point um, <laughs> beside the point yeah you know uh, you know uh, my mom was a real estate agent here we had a gas station growing up connected three chevron uh, my stepdad taught me a lot how to drive a truck what have you uh, plus i'm self-taught on music me and some fellas around here you had a little band oh yeah we you know, oh, cool. places, you know, uh, here and there. Um, so you're a total local. You're born and raised right here. No. Born in Atlanta. And my mom's from Dalton. My mom and dad divorced right after I was born. And I'd come to Dalton twice a year. Two or three days Christmas, a week to two weeks in the summer. From Daddy Atlanta? Was, Daddy was a computer. He'd have a company get their computer system straightened out and go to another company. We moved around a lot. Okay. And uh, Dalton is, it's always been here. That's why I call it home. Sure. But uh, it's different. I'm kind of getting where I was going to move out of it now. Well, hey, real quick, I've got some electrolyte packs. Yeah. Grape and black cherry. Which one would you like? Uh, black cherry, black cherry. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now, it's not going to change color. It don't change color? No, but it, you got the taste and the electrolytes. Yeah, good. Yeah, it'll, it'll hook you up. Yeah, uh, it's, it's actually stronger than Gatorade. Really? I mean, as far as the nutritional value, you know, from what I've been told. But uh, all right, I'll let you get working on that. Do you need any tools? Uh, no, sir. I don't believe I do. Uh, all right. Other than the top and the tire gauge or something, maybe. Uh, I don't have a gauge, but well, I've got that one. won't be necessary. I think I've got one in here. Well, if you do, then great. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, hindsight, 2020. <laughs> We always wish we had that. Yeah, no you doubt. Know, I'm sure you probably look back and think, well. Oh, I look back every day. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. That's the only way you learn. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that's some good stuff, though. Oh, Eddie, man, he's a nice one. There's been a lot of people. Eddie's a character, man. Yeah. He been thought been... I was the police the first time I met him. He what? He thought I was the police. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I saw you, was it yesterday when you handed out some... Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. And, uh... I saw the GoPro and I dipped on you. I thought, well, I, actually, I did see it. Yeah, you were on the bike. Yeah, and I dipped. I thought, ooh. But so, now you caught me under the bridge. Well, I didn't. I'll just, that's, uh, that's I, a little. I didn't catch you. No, that's, like, that's, uh, that's from Bad Company. Uh, all right. Uh, but anyway. All right. I'll let you get to it then. Give me a few minutes. I got to make a quick call. Okay, sir. And, uh, you know, I'm right here, so I ain't going nowhere. But no. Uh, Yep. Raise it up or push it down. To the if it's if it's straight, it's open. Then you put it on. Then push it down. And then then close it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I can hold the wheel right up here. How about how about that? Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good right there. Yeah, you're quick. Uh, 
And I'll put, yeah, well, you know, I was yeah. going to say, I'll push up on the bottom of the tire, but. Yeah, I'll get it. Hmm. Reckon you can. Uh, you know what? I, I you? gave you the wrong information. Okay, okay. No, that's wrong. Right. There you go. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'll let you put it on. Uh, now we're cooking. Yep. Pretty dinky boat, huh? Where are, yeah, you, where are you from, Daryl? I live in Chatsworth. Are you from Chatsworth? No, I'm not from I'm not from Chatsworth. But I moved there after my stepdad died. He got he worked on Mohawk for many, many years. Wow, that's quick. It's almost ready. <laughs> he uh got in a motorcycle accident and I, I was working in Texas. I was I was an I'm an iron worker by trade. Iron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rebar actually. Okay. Well but I was an iron worker, you know. Right. Local twenty five out of Detroit. Plus, when you get old, you slow down. You're not as active, and that makes it hard. Oh, no doubt. No I'll doubt. Be, uh, do you mind me asking how young you are? I'm 54. 54? Yes, sir. I'll be 55 in November. November? Yeah. Yes, sir. I got a nephew and niece birthday, November 5th. I'm the 12th. What? The, the 12th. 12th. Yeah. I'm Same day as Charles Manson. What? I swear. For real? <laughs> I swear, I, I, I didn't pick it. <laughs> you know, it just happened to be he was he's older than I am. Well, right. was. Well, yeah. you know, everybody's got a birthday. I'm yeah, it's a, it's a, I can't pick them. I'll be 66 in September. 66. Yeah. You're not a day over 54. Point. I still feel like I'm like 29. You know, sometimes 12 even. But uh, you know, it's just you can't do. I like to think I can do like I used to, but I found. Yeah. That, Looks like, are you got back problems? You? A little, yeah, a little bit. Hey, look. Yep. I tied pretty much just about, well, maybe not every stick, but pretty close to, uh, I'd say, two thirds of all the rebar in the trade convention center. Really? I didn't want to. I wanted to hire on the carpenter, on the foreign carpenter, finished carpenter, and a frame carpenter. I tied rebar for 16 years. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, that's uh. That's why yeah. you kind of got. I got. That little. Yeah. No, I've got the. I gotta sit in because I'm so used to being bent over all yeah. the time. Time. Man. I got a scoliosis and spina bifida, and I got a couple different things going on, but it, yeah. I just deal Wait. with it. I don't. I'm not. I, I'm supposed to be on steroids and met prednisone. I don't do that. Right. Uh, you know? Man, I'm. I, I like to think that I can heal myself of most ailments. Sure. Uh, you got think positive. I'll tell you what. Could you use a larger chair like this? Sure. It's a, uh, you know, it's the ni it, nylon, you know, camping chair. Yeah. You know, you know there. I had bought one. It was like a little bowl at a little uh, mom and pop shop here a couple, two or three months ago. Sure. And it just disappears. Things disappear out. Yeah, I've I've heard Wait. that many times. I mean, I mean uh, you know, it's not like it, like having a rigid home with a door that you can lock and light. No, no, that's not the and case. Neighbors will say, "Hey, I saw somebody sneaking around behind your house." Yeah, hey, I checked your mail. You know, it's like it seems like a lot of these neighbors might even help somebody. <laughs> could you could you use a a lunch? A what? A lunch? Lunch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I always use something to eat. I mean, they give you a little bowl of soup here uh, for lunch and a sandwich. But either you can or you can't eat it. You know, sometimes it's pretty good. I've heard, you know, it's a hit or miss on their yeah, meals. Yeah. yeah. I'll but, tell you, you know, what. Hey, uh, I just made these at four o'clock this morning. Yeah, that black cherry is really good. Uh, All right, I'll tell you what, young man. There's a, here's a packed lunch. Now that's a beef bologna and cheese. There's a mustard pack in there. Oh, oh, there's good, a fortune good. cookie. If you can grab that fortune cookie that's sliding down the side, yeah. if you could open it up, I want you to read it if you could. Oh, yeah, you don't You know, it's uh, it's just a, a thing I like to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and uh, a couple of lady friends back in the day used to go to, well, like Happy Family 2, Happy Family down in Calhoun. Uh, oh, the Chinese restaurant? Yeah, yeah. we always liked it. You know, yeah. Well, cookies. there you go. It's always fun. Yeah. Trying not to scratch on the lottery team. Yeah, you get the lottery number sometimes, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah. You will soon achieve perfection. Well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm a perfectionist of sorts. All I don't right. think I am. Not Here anymore, I mean, but uh, <laughs> I can waddle with the hogs. I don't care. I'll waddle with the hogs. I'd rather not. But. 
we got a there's a, a kool-aid pack in there a bag of chips a granola bar a miscellaneous a bunch of stuff a bag of peanuts and stuff for you no you know good stuff but uh, here's a camping chair for you sir um, yeah. yeah and that's uh the full size you know it's got the carrying bag and the whole deal man thank you so uh, that's what really makes me feel old not so much getting down on the ground i like sitting like an indian I don't mind sitting on the floor, but getting back up. If I sat like an Indian, I wouldn't get up. <laughs> That's what, my back will give me problems, but my knee gives me the worst problem. Really? Uh, I lost a lot of strength in it, but I'm gonna get it back. That's uh, one of the main things I want to do when I get the knee replacement. It's still, excuse me, I won't have it done here. Do you get a like a disability check or anything like that? I get a little money, uh, not much, uh, not, uh, not five thousand. But uh, I'm going to have to go back to work. Okay. But I need the knee fixed, and uh, transportation would be great. I go to a truck, get out there and start shaking some bushes, you know. Sure. Get a little work drum done. Yeah, shake the trees, see what falls out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a whole. I don't want to put nobody on the spot. I know a couple of people around here, like Don Recker. You know, I've done a little work for them, and they remember me. But uh, I won't step on no toes. I have gotten work okay. from somebody that's pretty known around here. Say back around 2009 or 10. Yeah. Uh, but the Mexicans get mad because that's supposed to be their work. And their turf. Well, you right. know. Yeah, you know, I'm, we got I'm turf out, wars in town. I've moved out of Dalton a lot. I moved from Murphy, North Carolina, back to Dalton in 07. Uh, I kind of wish I'd stayed in Murphy, but that's back when the market was falling, you know, the housing market. Sure. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a dingleberry caboggle. Yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, but, you know, I, I mean, uh, I'm not young like I was, and plus I've not been doing anything, so I'm weaker. Uh, as soon as I get the knee fixed, well, not actually. I'm gonna try and start incorporating a little. Riding a bike is one thing. Doing total exercise is another. Right. Um, I've got to do something because it, the older you get, the harder it is. Well, what I can observe just from talking to you for the you know a few minutes here is the fact that you can't replace the knowledge that you have. You know, nope. you might be a little slow around the draw per se, but the knowledge is king. I'm rusty, man. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'm rusty, but uh, that rust will get knocked off. Let me help you out there. There you go. You gotta give it a shake. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. If I had a vehicle, I'd get out and make some rounds. I've lost, some, <clears throat> I've lost some good friends. They passed away, and you may not find out till nine months to two years later. Wow because I can't make my rounds and, and visit. I'm not real big on the phone. Especially uh, you know, days. tell the truth, uh, either am I, to be honest, you know. I didn't threaten to get walkie-talkies for, you know, my sister and a couple, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> they won't reach that far. Yeah. So you have family in town? I've got a sister and a uh, few nieces and nephews. Why are you living in a tent? Why am I what? Why are you living in a tent? Uh, because there's really no room. Uh, do they have a garage or backyard? Mm, well, code enforcement here. Yeah, but at their house? No, uh, no. They they threatened to put me in jail and put a tent in my sister's backyard. Who threatened you? Code enforcement. Uh, that's why I have no vehicle. <clears throat> I had a nice forerunner. Oh, needed I'm... a head gasket, but it sat there at my sister's for like a little over a year or so, and they considered it junk. All I had to do was make make an attempt to fix it right or put a tag and insurance on it temporarily but i shouldn't have to do that because they say so and there's a lot it's of things your in property. the area that was stealing everything at the, at the time so i didn't want to buy tools and have the motor broke down and, you know, why would you have to insure and tag a vehicle that you can't even drive to make court enforcement happy my oh. sister was reading something off the internet i don't know uh, what website but there are no, this has been a year ago or so, there are no homeless people in Dalton. 
they, they try and paint a prettier picture than what they Oh, I know. I know, yeah. <laughs> but, you it's, know, it's all roses and cherries. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, and and as you probably know, there's a lot of homeless that <laughs> shouldn't be. They, they're they young enough, healthy enough, yeah. that they could be working. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then you got those that, well, there's always going to be somebody that that's a bad egg and makes the good people look bad. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's always that... Uh, Birds of a feather. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you there. It's not always true, but everybody thinks it is. That is crazy, sir. And people do judge a book by its cover. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, once you get kind of labeled and tagged, yeah. there's no getting out of it. Yeah. You know. That's, that's bad. I mean, yeah. there, are some, there are some smart people out there that thank goodness for some of the good ones out there. Wasn't like this 30 years ago. No, it wasn't. No. Man. I like Chatsworth. I'd rather live in Chatsworth. If that's I where I live. Vehicle, that's yeah. where I'd be. Yeah. I live in Chatsworth. Yeah. I like Chatsworth. I used to live in Eton, or Tinga rather. And uh, I've lived uh, a couple of places in Chatsworth. I got a DUI in Chatsworth. Going yeah. through my first divorce. But it's, I, I still live in Chatsworth. Huh. You know Bud's place? Remember Bud's? Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, my buddy talked me into stopping in there, and we were the we closed it down. We were there a little too long. And they were sitting right there. <laughs> and you said, saw oh. them when you walked out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I didn't even get to the red light. Wow. I said, sir, I didn't have time to mess up. Why did you pull me over? Yeah, I had nothing. I didn't. I couldn't even do anything wrong yet. Because I don't have a tag light. I was in a '64 Chevrolet. My grandpa's. Oh up. yeah. Do you know that it's illegal to hang, like, remember when you graduated high school and whatnot, how you get a graduation tassel that you'd hang on your cap? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you turn it or whatever. Yeah, you could turn it, flip it, do whatever, and people hang them from their mirrors. It's got your school colors on it, and people would hang them from their mirrors. You know, sunglasses and stuff would be hanging on it. Right. That's illegal. No kidding. Yeah, you can't have anything hanging from your mirror. Wow. It's considered obstructed view of the road. I don't like things hanging in my windshield anyway. Yeah. I mean, some people do, but I don't. But I, that's crazy, you know. But no, you can, you know, I've seen, I've seen religious things, you know, Jesus and all kinds of stuff oh. hanging from, you know, beads and rosaries and etc. Yeah. etc. Et and and all kind of stuff, toys, air fresheners, yeah, air, yeah, stuffed animals, yeah, but. All the stuff on the dash, you know, like camera, uh, cell phone holder, charger thing, you know, for the hands-free stuff. But you can't have anything hanging from your mirror. Uh, that's that's that is a legitimate reason to be pulled over. What about that? It's called obstructed view. In Georgia. Everywhere. Everywhere. I got that in Michigan 28 years ago. No kidding. Yeah, and it's true here, and I see it every day. Yeah, it depends on who they want to pull over. Wow, yeah. You can have a radar detector on your windshield. Oh, now, that's illegal in a lot of places. Yeah. You know, no, Canada, the entire country. Yeah, you don't yeah. need... Wow, yeah. They can lock you up for having one. They on will. Them. They will lock you up. Yeah. I remember my stepdad saying something about that, which, you know, very rarely ever use those. CB takes care of that. Yeah. Uh, I miss him pretty good. I miss all of them. You know, everybody's gone. Uh, yeah, I miss... I'm missing family. But, uh, yeah. You know, we're, we're not on record right now, are we? Well, I'll take it out. And so, you know, that's how it is. Uh, you know the saying, good things happen to bad people? Yes. Bad things happen to good people? Yeah. I guess it's a test or something. There's a reason for it. Man, Nobody should have to tell Johnny, me. no, that's horrible, man. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of, a lot of horrible things happening. Uh, that's like if I figure if I was strong enough, I probably would have still been building. Uh, you know, there's a couple of people saying, uh, you ought to be able to name your price. I said, well, it's not that simple. <laughs> I didn't advertise. Word of mouth. Yeah. You know. Uh, that's how it's always been. You know, when yeah, I was man. when I was growing up, and even in my 30s, you know, word of mouth. Yeah. You know, wasn't the background checks and fingerprint and DNA and drug testing and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, man. Well, I'll have to check on that call because I'm actually probably late for an I don't appointment. Want to hold you back, Daryl. No, don't I worry about it, brother. Man. No, you're Give fine. Bless you and, and uh, love you, and, and I appreciate. It. 
holy birds. What's your last name? McKinney. McKinney? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm originally from Michigan, born and raised, but my family, you know, on my father's side is from West Virginia. Um, so I'm part Irish and Indian, and I got a few things. Irish, if I said that. <laughs> I don't know what all I am. Uh, I know my great grandfather, he was the sheriff of the law. And man, I named that Papa. He was a head auditor for Gulf Oil over the whole southeastern United States. Wow. And he'd be telling me stories about busting them steels. He loved having his daddy bust them steels and stuff. That's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. But I'm just old partier, you know, like the rock and roll. But I shoot straight. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know. No, you're, you seem steal, like a great I guy. Do I, don't get, I don't get why people do what they do to each other. It's uh, it's amazing to me the amount of thievery from one another when they're supposed to when they're all in the same boat, yeah. You know, I mean, and it's like man, yeah. When when Eddie told me your bike was locked up, and I say, well, he's the lucky one. He has a lock. Well, I've got that one. City Refuge gave me that one. It, even though it's a little too small for me, it's better than having to walk because somebody stole a 29 inch PCA. Yeah. And uh, I rode it from Copper Hill back. Wow. I got three rides, probably knocked out maybe 25 miles, but that's still a good little stroke for me. Yeah. Uh, man, I was sore for a week. <laughs> no doubt. No, not enough Advil in the world to fix that man, one. But it was a half to case because, you know, just the way things were. I run away up there thinking it'd be a little better, but it's worse. It's actually worse. All right. Things are just bad, getting bad everywhere. Have you, have you, I mean, I'm out here in the street, so I've noticed. Have you noticed things different? Well, to t I've been here a long time, but I only got started doing what I'm doing now about a year ago. Matter of fact, in two weeks, it'll be exactly a year. Oh, really? Yeah, it was the end of July. Well, I guess you could say in 10 days or so, whatever. But the point is, it's like, man, you know, when you think you got it bad, it's like you're fooling yourself because it, it's so oh, much. man, there's always somebody. It's got it somebody's, somebody's struggling and hurting. Oh, man. Yeah. Every time I see an ambulance and stuff on the road, it makes me sad, you yeah. know, as we can hear sirens in the background. Right. You know. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, my mom came to visit us in LJ, me and my wife and kids, and I think it might have been the first time she actually came to visit. And she said she'd stay a little longer when they come back in. And that was a Friday afternoon, uh, 1995. Never came back. Right. She got crushed under the truck. Oh, dear Lord, baby yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That is horrible. Johnny. And I built my dad's house. He retired, moved in Blue Ridge. And I'm coming back to Dalton. They said, check in, check on Grandpa on your way. <laughs> check on Grandpa. Well, um, there he was laying in his bed, gone. Just like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not. it was around 2002 uh, or three or something like that. That's what my dad did. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the coroner said everybody wished they could go like him, which I figured, you know, he was laying there, hands behind him, like he ate, loosened his belt, took his shoes yeah, off. And like he was watching TV? Yeah. Yeah, uh, which I've got sleep apnea. That's why I need to work out and lose this. As long as I sleep on my side, I'm okay. But that's horrible. You start pedaling that bike, you'll drop some pounds. Oh, dude, I have. <laughs> my leg gets to hurt so bad, I have to watch it. That's, you know, it's good to get exercise, but you can overdo it. You overdo it, yeah, yeah. You know, with the low it, it's good in low doses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, I know you got to go, man. Yeah. And I, hey, man. No, it's it's, it's, it's honestly been a pleasure. Now, I'm, on the card I gave you, my email address is on there. Do you have contact ability? Do you got a phone? All yeah, right. I just got it. It's got my phone. They helped me get it down at uh, City Red. Awesome. They're the ones that gave me the bike. I went in. Uh, I was going to go talk to them about getting the phone, trying to get in some government housing of some sort, and uh, somebody stole my bike the day before, so somebody dropped me off, and I told them that, and they said, well, we might have one for you, so they gave me that. Awesome. Well, the reason I'm even here today is I was supposed to meet a couple, uh, a younger couple. Their name is uh, um, Allie and William. And uh, they say they come here all the time, but this first time I saw them, I've come here three times a day or three times a week for uh, almost a year. And matter of fact, this is where everything started, right by that, by, right by that column. And uh, my point is, is that um, 
you know, they contacted me through my business card on my Facebook page. But my email address is on there. If you run into a pinch or you need some help, I want you to email me from your phone and I'll get back to you and we'll, we'll see what we can do to try to get you fixed up. Well, I sure appreciate it. Yeah, if you need a ride somewhere, you know, somewhere longer distance and, you know, bike, yeah. biking around. But, um, I need to check on trying to get a truck somehow, maybe. Um, I say a truck because that's what I need to, you know, do my thing. But at this point, I'd settle for anything. Well, it's hard to buy a $150 to a $500 car anymore. I mean, they used to be pretty plentiful back in the day. There sure. are people that can get those deals. Yeah. Uh, if they'll share it with you. Yeah, those, those are the those are the ones that go to the auction and buy 20 cars at once, and they got three semis waiting to load them up. Right. They don't know. know anybody anymore, you know. And then they sell them for three to five grand a piece. Right. You know? yeah. And they run for a month. Buy here, pay here. What a scam! Biggest scam in our city. Buy here, pay here. Title pawn. Yeah. You yeah. Know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That desperate. All right. Well, sir, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank Get into you, that man. lunch, man. You're going to enjoy it. I will. Yeah, there's some good snacks in there. A lot of protein. And uh, is there anything else I can help you out with today? Uh, got a million dollars? Um, I'm a little short right now. Oh, you take a check? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I hear you. You know, I, I'm not much on material things. Because uh, once you take my family and all that, once that's gone, all the property's gone. I mean, I've, I've moved away from a camp several times, left everything. Uh, why try and drag it around? Well, yeah, if you can reacquire, you know, multiple items, you take what's important and, you know, you're on your way. You know. Yeah. Things are different, but uh, I, I really think I'm about to get out of this town. You're not the only one that has told me that. You know, yeah. I've got dozens of people that have said, I can't wait to leave this place. I just don't know exactly where I would go. Yeah. You know, right off. But uh, nonetheless, I'll try and make the best of it while I'm here. Yeah. Who knows, things might turn around. Hey, that's why uh, every day when you wake up, it's a blessing. I'm just glad God loves me. Yeah. Speaking of which, do you need a Bible by chance? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. I have... A, if you have one with large print. I do not. Do you need glasses? No, uh, but if I have... Reading glasses? No. Uh, if the light is good, I can see. But now these little tiny, the little tiny print? Yeah. I can't, you know, I would need a magnifying glass or something. I'll tell you what, let me show it to you and you tell me what you think. It's over here. And, uh, Oh, really? Yeah, this is uh, the King James Version okay. of the New Testament. A woman, Susan, here right in town. I can, I can read that uh, with good lighting, you know. Okay. Uh, Speaking of light, how you doing on that? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I try to help somebody in need. I've gave just about every one of the flashlights I've had. All right, I got, I got something. I've got a chargeable flashlight. Uh, but this is a hand cranking so oh, that's ideal right yeah. there. It's LED so it's gonna use less power, no batteries necessary. Yeah, yeah. And uh but yeah, that's for you, sir. That's ideal, right? Yeah, there. that'll help you maybe, you know, if you want to read, you know, do whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. obviously. Yeah, it gets, and it's pocket size for sure. It gets costly buying batteries. Oh. The batteries cost more than <laughs> than electricity. Definitely. I mean, oh, for sure. I mean, remember batteries and, and remember when light bulbs were free? When you would bring them in to and, and exchange them? No. Oh, yeah. Well, in Michigan it was. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you bring in your bad light bulbs, you know, 40, 60 watt, whatever. You know, you could change them in and give them free ones. Well, you can't even buy 40, 60 watt no more. Uh, They're all those uh, uh, efficient. Yeah. Efficient, well. LEDs of some sort. Yeah, and they're 20 bucks a piece. Man, yeah. yeah. Uh, How crazy. I mean, you know, there's... There's pluses and minuses, I guess, about everything. Yeah. Well, you can only do what you can do. Yeah. We're, we're not going to be changing anything soon, so. Darryl, Sir, pleasure thank to meet you. Very much. Yeah, thank once you. again. Like I said, my email address is on the on the card. Yeah. It's what it, the name of my YouTube channel is. What if this was you? I see that. What if this was you? Yeah, it's on the card as well, right at the top. But the email is what if this was you, at gmail.com. 
So you can email, contact me, just say, hey, you know, this is Johnny we met the other day, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And uh, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Daryl, thank you very, thank you very much. You're welcome. And, yeah, I've met with Eddie here many a time. Oh, yeah, I've known yeah. Eddie quite a while, man. Yeah. He, he knows my yeah. whole family, man. He, he is family. He's ready to roll. Yeah, man. Well, you've been here a minute, Eddie. Yeah, it's been a minute. And uh, any more minutes, I'm in trouble. So <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get rolling, boys. Thank you, Daryl. So, you're welcome, guys. All Darryl, right. Is there any way we can ask you for a favor? It's a big favor. Uh, depends on what it is. What do you got, brother? He needs to ride to closest to the interstate if you can take him. I'm going the total opposite direction. I'm totally late for an appointment right now. I just got the call. You know, he was here. Plus, my car is totally full. I got more more stuff in my car than I normally would. There you, go. you know. You gave up another chair. What's that? You gave us up another chair. A chair, yeah. So, yeah yep. Everybody needs something. Was you was you uh, 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 satisfied? Pardon me? Were you satisfied? Oh, well, heck yeah. <laughs> so, huh? so, yeah. I aim to God I aim to please, down. but I can't do it all can't right now. now we so, might have been in the woods right now saying, God, how am I gonna get this? <laughs> yeah, here comes Daryl. Right. Yeah. Huh? Well, I told him I did. Probably can't do it. Greater work sort of ain't gonna do it. No. Nah. But uh, I he gotta not, go, guy. I, I he, I'm super he, late. He, he, he ain't uh, drilling us with Christ. He's not. He's not saying, oh, Christ is the way and this and that. No, he's just showing compassion. Just want to look. Eddie, give me some. I love you, brother. All, All right, I'll see you, buddy. I love you. Man. All right, Robert. Sorry, I can't help you out today, but I soon. Thank you. We're talking about the pleasure, Daryl. All right. Take it easy, Johnny. Too, All right, good to see you, man. You guys be safe. Yeah, I'm totally running late. Oh man, it's almost three o'clock already. Oh crap. Well, I'm not gonna speed. Wow, what a what a great guy, man. That's amazing. What a what a what a wealth of knowledge and wisdom that he carries. And uh, good for him, man. I'm so glad I was able to help him in the very least. You know, that's that's what it's all about. Seatbelt before I get on the thoroughfare, the main roads, etc. There we go all buckled up okay wow this will take some time to process it's like 66 years old living in a tent behind a broken down carpet mill uh yeah all right as some of us you know, kind of worry about what, what we're going to get for dinner tonight. You know. Pretty sad. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to cut you loose. Uh, this one's going to be a long one. That's how it goes.